Free play has been a staple of most LEGO games since their inception. It's how you fully beat the games. Going back in with a new collection of characters, using various abilities to collect all sorts of mini kits, red bricks, and studs. But I've always wondered how far you could get without it. Like, what if we took one of our more structurally broken games and used that to our advantage to try and 100% LEGO Indiana Jones without ever touching that free play button? I knew this challenge was going to be difficult, but to what extent I had no idea. I went to some places I never thought existed, from spending over an hour on a single minikit multiple times over, waiting in one room for over 20 minutes just for proper RNG, and even minikit duplication. I had my work cut out for me. To properly do this challenge, I had help from a guide sheet made by Hydrus, which told me which minikits were possible to get in story mode, but here's the catch. The sheet doesn't tell me how to get the minikits, just how many you're able to get within a single level. It was also slightly outdated, which allowed us to get even more than we thought. It also didn't list off any available parcels, which Zero the Hero helped out a ton with. By the end of this video, you're going to have two different numbers. The percentage of game we're able to complete without using cheat codes or minikit duplication, and then the percentage of game we can complete with every possible method, codes and duplication included. I'd recommend checking out this video I made last year before watching this one, as a lot of the tech that we use in this challenge run crosses over with the speedrun. Without further ado, let's get going. But, as you can probably guess, uh, the Lost Temple is a fairly easy level to do with, like, max story collectibles, just because everything is pretty much right out there for you. You can get that kit behind a tree, you can do the, the shoveling of these little idol statues, and it's, it's, it's very, very, uh, simple. You can't get every single thing in this level, though, but the ones you can get are, are all intentional, uh, I believe. We can get the other one behind this statue too. And then immediately jump down here. All bananas knowledge coming in clutch right now. We are no longer. Woo! We will have to do that twice because now we gotta go up here and do the lever the normal way after grabbing that kit. I don't know much about that. Oh, of course I just get the, the ghost jump. Okay, okay, that's cool. It only happens when I don't want it to happen. That makes sense. No, I haven't I haven't even tried to do spike skip in months. I don't even want to I don't want to sit here for half an hour trying to do that. We get another kit over here though, behind uh this wall. Then we can do another jump to get past there. So the first kit that we uh cannot get in this area is the one behind the metal door in the back of this room with the C3PO statue. Uh the three CPO three three C C-3PO, where the C-3PO uh, guy is, we cannot grab that one. With some kind of super jump that might be seen as possible in the future, but for now, uh, I don't believe we can get that one. And the, uh, we have what, seven now? Am I missing some? No, wait, we have enough kits, because the other kit that we can't get is down here. And I, I believe me, I've tried my hardest to like jump down there and live but even if we did because of the bookcase being back there uh it's not going to be possible and even if you do respawn down there you're just stuck infinitely dying forever so I i'm not gonna worry about that and we're gonna run through this one casually because there is a kit at the end we also have to grab and there we go that's kit number six there are two more we can grab one of them is right back here it's pretty much just max percent story I mean, that's, that's what it is. But there's that kit, and then the final one, it's right over here. And that's the max amount of stuff you can get besides True Adventure in The Lost Temple. Into the Mountains has more that we can get than The Lost Temple. The first one is um, this super jump. I gotta just set my like character's respawn point over here, then jump along the wall. Double jump onto this, get back there, and then drop out. How did that not grab it? There we go. That's one. This is going to be two over here as well. We can get uh, this kit behind the fire. We're going to get the Star Wars characters too, as many as we can. I don't know how many of those are possible, uh, just because they're not on the story collectibles or the, the artifact collectibles sheet, but I'm going to try my best to get as many of them as I can. We're going to be back in this room later on, 
we can't grab uh, two of the kits in this room because we need to have a bazooka and a shovel for this one, uh, both of which are found at the very end of the level. So we're gonna have to walk back here. Not a lot, but uh, but I think around like once or twice more, depending on if we die. There could be a transition skip there, yeah. There are some ones we get to use in this, uh, I wouldn't really call this a category, but this like challenge run that you don't see in uh, any percent or even hundo for that matter, because you just come back and free play. Also, this is very funny. I like this jump. But here we go. There we go. Elevator strategy. And it's another one. Beautiful. And now we get uh, my new favorite jump in the entire game because it's so much easier than doing this bullshit over here. I missed. There, there we go. Okay, I just was hitting my head too much. So you can walk around here, and then uh, because we're bad, we can die twice. Uh, we can jump back up. We have to come back with the bazooka for uh, this kit as well, but we can grab the bazooka right after we finish this next room uh, and also grab the shovel that spawns when you break this thing. So here's one of the last kits and now we have three more to go backtrack and grab. Okay, finally, now we can grab this one. And this is the one of the last kits we can grab. And there it is. Yeah, you do die, so that was a good call. There's uh, Luke Forest too. All right, uh, City of Danger. The first level where we have to come back twice in story to get all the kits. Reason being, because the kit inside of this enemy room you can out of bounds to get inside of there. The issue is you can't get back out because the door will stay closed. So we have to beat the level now and then come back and grab that kit in our second run through and then save and quit afterwards. Oh, th I forgot about, okay, this is also a really awful kit to get. I really hate getting this one. Headphone cord is in my way. <sighs> it's so difficult. I wait a little bit longer too. To walk up there, I think. Oh. Nope. Oh, it was just that easy the entire time. All right, well, that's not too bad. Actually, that's better than I thought it was. We can't forget the other kit, though. This one also exists. And that's uh, too many kits. Just two rooms in. Also, yeah, this exists. Uh, I don't know if this is the intended way to do these, these next two kits, but uh, I found this while messing around to make sure that I uh, had the brain for this challenge. Nope, 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 nope. You have to jump into this one. But it's really hard to see. Oh my god. When I was really young, we had one of those, like, handheld... There we go. DVD players. So, I would find the disc for, like... Temple of Doom or whatever, and uh, I would put it on the mini DVD player, and I would go to my bedroom and get the absolute shit scared out of me by Major Toad getting his face melted off in the end of Raiders. There we go. Now we're inside of there. Jesus. We can do... Let's do the jump. The jump looks is more flashy than the, uh, the alt tab. It's one kip. Oh, what the fuck? No, oh, no, 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 no. Jump. There we go. Let's just do it normally. There, that, there's kit number five for you. And we can drop out of bounds inside of the building, jump back up, and then we're through. Look how easy that was, man. We haven't missed a single kit yet. We've been, we've been on the ball with this kind of stuff. This is one of the last ones we'll grab. Well, this is the last one we'll grab in this playthrough. But once we finish the level, we're coming back in for the one in the disguise room in room two. You can get the red brick. Oh, I, I guess I can look for the red brick, too. I should do that. Yeah, let, let's let's do the old out of bounds to get Marion behind the door. I got to pull in way sooner, huh? Jump. There we go. Oh, we're so good. We're so good. Dude, Chewie is phasing through existence right there. We get this. Which red brick is in this? Is this uh, like a... Uh, a stud multiplier? I don't know which one this is. So we can maybe try to clip 
to get chewy. I'll give it a couple more minutes of trying. If we find nothing, we find nothing. Five hours later. I think my man is locked behind there forever. Unfortunately. We got the red brick, though. That's really all that matters for that. A couple things with this level. Uh, we're going to use FDT, which I believe normally in LIJ1 runs is not allowed. Uh, specifically, we're going to be doing punch launching. And here's why uh, a little bit of punch launching has to be done. So we can't get over there. We can't cut this rope. We can't grab that box. And we need that box to open up this gate. Wow. Sala was the, the key, huh? Now that we're in here, we can grab the kit right there. Beautiful. Uh, and then we can break into this wall. Where, where's the hole in the wall? Oh, oh, oh. Sala, you found it? He's so smart. Sala is just a, a gem to have around. And we can get this kit too. We're going to also leave V-Sync off because we're going to do a punch launch out of here, as I was saying earlier. And the punch launch, it's not just a punch launch. It's a punch launch out of bounds. Just a weirdly precise movement because you can't just like get underneath the door you're still stuck in this super long loaded in hallway and it's it, it traps you in so you have to like jump out of bounds curve back in it's it's a lot but it should just be there we go oh there we go i got it this is where the movement comes out so we're stuck in a hallway this is the hallway they use to get you into that treasure room. Uh, it goes on for a long time. I have to get underneath it and sort of like invisibly path my way back. And we're out of there. We did it. Look at that. Look at that. So this right here, this kit behind that silver thing, we aren't able to get, unfortunately. There isn't out of bounds to get to that area without having to do the whole staircase thing, but it does not allow us to grab the kit because the kit only appears after you've blown it up. So this kit is unfortunately impossible. Actually, we could just go back and do the out of bounds because we don't have anything to do in these next couple of rooms, right? There's no kits past this place. So pick this up. All right, we're cool. We have the book. Now we do a real skeleton clip. Woo, he's too good. And get another mini kitten here. And there it is. Two more mini kits to go. Here we're gonna do uh, everybody's favorite. Okay, we got that, which means we can do this and jump over here to skip the boss fight, to skip the big snake, uh, and to go inside of this area, which I believe this is the red brick room, if I'm not mistaken. So that's nine kits and the red brick for the level, which means uh, we've gotten nearly 100% of the entire game. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go back to uh, city. You can't buffer jumps off of ropes. It's a matter though. Nice. That was actually pretty good. Is there like an out of bounds you can do to get in there? Or I don't know how you get in there. Okay, that's cool. Let's do uh, max stud glitch now. I guess lost temple is the last one I have eight for then, yeah? And there's four million, four billion studs. Uh, that's awesome. Let's go buy some extras. We can buy the two times treasure one now, and we can start getting true adventure a lot easier inside of levels. This one, I, I've, I've seen it done. I've never done it myself, though. Let's see if I know how to do this. There we go. This is what you do. No, 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 no. There we go. Yes, yes, he's too good. That was first try. Don't watch the last like 20 minutes of the stream. He's done it. 
There we go. Nice. We got it. That felt really good, even though it took way longer than it should have. I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. And then there's this jump, too, which this one's just hard on its own for whatever reason. I guess what I'm going to do. Alt tab and get the kit. Beautiful. Yeah, so this kit is doable. Or can you blow this up? You got a you got a freaking uh, grenade. Throw it at me. Doesn't work really. Oh, I guess the car can break that. That's true. Don't kill me. Are you fucking kidding me? You getting here just by punching, or is this an explosion? Oh, that guy can do that for us. That's interesting. All right, well, there's this kit. Beautiful. That's four out of eight. Don't forget this one over here. Oh, there we go. Cool. So I guess we can't get the target kit. We try to get true adventure while we're here as well. I'm trying, I'm trying to use the point too much. Just like do that. Yeah, just use the actual anvil yourself. Okay, can we pause yet? We can pause. Yeah, this is going to be our eighth kit. We're cool. Boom, and we're done. All right, last level of movie one. I want to see how many I can do. Eight, so it's the dig spot and the book puzzle. No, the book, okay, yeah, the book puzzle in the final room. Yeah, I guess that one wouldn't be possible. This is the one that I'm a little confused on, though I think I, I have an idea on how to get it. I don't think it's going to be as bad as I think it will be. first try and there's some out of bound stuff we can do for the other things one of them being over here there we go how do you do this one okay well i fucked that up we can get the kit inside of this area though like extremely easily watch that last and be like a one try that i already fucked up Oh, I got in. Cool. Oh, no. What could the puzzle possibly be here? I'm dumbfounded. Truly. I don't know which one that is, but we have it now. What am I forgetting about? Let's just go to the final room and see if we are uh, being dumb or not. No, there are three kids here. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got to find the shovel, though. Do I need bazooka for shovel? What's in that back crate? Oh, there's shovel. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're fine. We're totally fine. And now I've collected every single possible story kit in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Goodbye. Easy. It's every possible Raiders kit. That's going to be helpful. That's going to be real helpful. I'm actually going to go buy that right now. Okay, I have to watch that super jump video after we buy some characters here. This is, this is like doing something for us, don't worry. Oh, I had it too. I was just in the wrong respawn spot. Got it. Woo! Let's freaking go, dude. Now we've, uh, we gotta go back and get true adventure in all levels, but we pretty much done every possible thing you can do. In Raiders, let's get let's get all of our true adventures done, and then we'll 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 be cool. After going back through and getting true adventure, it was on to the Last Crusade. Now, why play this before Temple of Doom? I don't know. Why not? This is also the stream where my webcam decided to permanently switch into late 2000s emo mode. So if you want to help a guy like me afford better equipment, uh... We're 31% of the way through the game, and we've done one third of the game. So we're like 2% behind where you should be at this point. Uh, which is really strangely impressive. I also have to point out, and I'm gonna piss a lot of people off by saying, I'm gonna piss a lot of people off by saying this. Look how off-centered this middle thing is. Look how off-centered that middle piece is compared to like the, the, the lines, this brick line. Why is it like that? What's, what's going on in here? 
supposed to be a treasure chest in there, huh? That one's from the motorcycle, I think. And we can't do motorcycle. You can get nine mini kits in this level. And I know how to get eight of them. Also, I'm sorry if I, if I sound weird. I'm, I think I'm still a little bit sick. But I think it was my cat sleeping on my pillow and putting cat hair in my eye uh, that caused it. There we go. Because there is a cat allergy in my family. This is this kind of a precise... There we go. If you go too far left or right, you obviously clip back and bounce, and the water makes turning around, like, really difficult. This is a really easy parcel to get in story. There's supposed to be more that you do for this one, but because we have the whip, we can kind of just, like, do that and turn around and drop it down. Okay, we gotta get that kid over there. I think I just used the same out-of-bounds method for that one. This, this movement is really annoying because the camera will stay fixed against this wall, and I have to hope and guess that I'm not gonna fall out of bounds and respawn all the way back over. Okay, there we go. There we go. That was actually perfect. And now comes the other hard part. We're gonna start walking on the shore. I just thought we know we're at least somewhat close to it. And it's right in here. Wait, think about this first. No, I'm good, I'm gonna go. I can do this, yeah. I'm glad you're here. Oh, the blind. He's too good. Okay, now in this room, this next one is the mini kit that I have no clue how to get in story, but apparently it's possible. I don't know of any like out of bound stuff in this room. So I, I am really confused as to how I'm supposed to grab this kit at the top. Yeah, so you have to like do this, this enemy panel to open up this door and I don't have any hat that can do that. I did like accidentally get one of the Nazis to spawn out here, but it wasn't one that gives you a hat. I spent a long, long time trying to clip out of bounds, and even got sidetracked grabbing the kit in the next room before being sent a video tutorial on how to grab this mini kit. My reaction sums up this process perfectly. Oh, We might be here for a while, chat. Oh, yes, okay. This is like a super precise jump up. Okay, we can fix that. No, <laughs> dude, are you kidding me? Oh, yep, 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 huge. No, why, what, what, the box was right there. We're gonna come back for this. This is definitely not a speedrun at this point, so I'm, I'm fine if we just take like 60 hours to do this. Just drown her, Indy. Just keep her in the water. It'll save you a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> yes? Dude, it's over. It's over. It's just so over. It's It can't get any better from here. It's over. It's over. It's all done. Oh, but we gotta come back here, so don't- we still have the hardest kit in the game to come back for, so don't worry, we're, we're not- we're not even quite close to done. It's good. Okay. First try, ready for this? Hardest kid in the game, my ass. Wait, what are the fucking numbers? Oh, is it like five, seven, three? What are the numbers, chat? What are the numbers? Oh. Are they really? Okay, we have to like blindly do some, some number arithmetic here. Okay. <laughs> I was just pressing buttons, man. I was just hitting I was just hitting the buttons, man. That's all I was doing there. Damn, man. That that felt that felt really really good to get. Uh 3. Where's the last one? Oh, it's in the parcel room. Okay. 
Oh, did I lose a bazooka? We'll get the parcel right now. It's right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh! How do you get that kit? Oh, I, we get a bazooka, you idiot. What am, what am I even, what am I saying? Now they get the other kit. Oh, this asshole's back. Well, we hit, we hit it, so I, that's all I care about. And we get the kit with the statue and the one in the next room, and then we're through. We'll come back here right away, and we'll, we'll finish this one off, because that, that alt-tab clip might be a little bit touchy to do without dying the first time. No, yeah, whatever. All right, we'll come back for the other three after we finish this off. I did not go straight there. Oh, it worked! <gasps> no! <gasps> yes. 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 Let's leave. Uh, yeah, we only have... What kit are we missing? Oh. This next kit, in the fire room, took me longer than it did to complete a full level. This movement is notorious for being just painful and confusing, with certain areas in this floor just straight up killing you. But the added movement to get the kit is even worse, making you do a blind edge jump over the void and praying you end up in the right spot. I was here for an hour, and to avoid putting you through all that, here's the final attempt. Okay. Oh, I'm done with this level forever. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, we did it. We did it. All right, let's get some kits. We gotta keep the wrench in this level too. You can get every single mini kit, I believe. Uh, I don't know if the parcel is possible. See, see, what did I tell you? All right, let's, let's get the bazooka. Let's get this shit going. I had this set, this uh, 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 this set as a kid, the motorcycle one. I loved it. When I was three, I would chew on the tires because they were like a good sensory toy. Now we're back into full, full gear. There's not a lot of hard mini kits in this level, from what I understand. So this one should be like a one try, and we should be good. Thank you. I hate the ramps. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, we're going. Yeah, yo, let's do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Okay. Why? Okay. Yes. Thank God I I didn't wasn't able to enter that door with the the bike. Otherwise, I would have uh, had to walk all the way back again. Let's go farming. Let's go mini kit acquired. That's we actually this this was this was not a hard level. We just made it hard by consistently making a lot of mistakes, and then we're done. We just gotta get to the end the ending room. And there's those two mini kits in there. You guys pose no threat. You're disarmed, and I'm on a motorcycle. Plus ratio, plus L. I bet you could just like. Yeah, <laughs> I. It was very close to the edge of the door right there. There it is. 100% completed level. That feels good. Now that we're done with that one. There's one over here. I don't know how you get in there. I wish these enemies would stop spawning though. I was up. I was I was up. Do you not just jump across? Because I'm hitting the ceiling when I jump up, I think. Yeah. Do I go behind me? You can lag over the thing next well, you can just alt tab. Oh, you can just do that. Okay. There we go. I'll need a key from that, so yeah. All right, that's fine. We can get a bazooka. I've, I've never had a, a bazooka spawn happen to me before, but that one is very easy. I can pause again. Yeah, now try. Now try and shoot me, punk. See what happens. This is a kit. 
This over here is a kit. And then we have those two previous ones. All right. All right, now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. I didn't watch this part of the video. See, look, there we go. That's not so bad. Anything cool on you boys? No. I hate you, dad. It's like we're shiny hunting for Pokemon, but even more boring because it's, it's one Pokemon type and it's like, you can't make the spawn increase. It's just time-based. Yes. Why does it keep exp What What's happening? It just immediately explodes. Okay, I gotta I gotta turn the extras on, cause now we're getting like we're getting a lot of spawns. But the second he lands, he just if I kill him, he blows up. I don't know why he blows up like that. Oh, there he is. Yes. No. Pick it up and just go. All right. There's the key. There we go. Now we run back to the end of the level and finish it off. Yeah, there we go. Done. All the way done. Yeah, perfect. There's first mini kit and R2D2. Wait, oh, oh, I got him. We're fine. Cool. I thought I had jumped off a little bit too early. A lot of lions in this level. I think two, two mini kits revolve around building a lion statue. Oh, I knocked my bulldozer over. And three. It's another kit. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go. We figured it out in the end, boys. On to the next room. Beautiful cinematic camera angle. And that's another one. Any, any day now. It would be good. Or like the mini kit. There we go. He found it. It was just buried pretty deep, you know. It's a weird angle to hold your control stick at. It's like not really as far as you'd think. There we go. Finally. That's a bit of a pain. Okay, parcel done. It's not going to make it. Oh, that made it somehow. All right, we, uh, we finished the level. It's over. There you have it. Uh, one level left of Temple, or of Temple, of uh, Last Crusade, and then we only have one movie left, and I'm sure Temple will be hard, but not any more difficult than this was. We cannot get the parcel here, I'm pretty sure. Let's consult the sheet. Uh, three, six, we can only get eight. And that's true adventure already, we have a million studs. What, where, where am I? Where, where, what do you do with that key right there? Just put it, put it in the turn style. The turn, the turn, key turn thing. When I was a kid, I thought having four million dollars made you a quadrillionaire. So we can't get the thuggy statue. And we can't get, what was the other one they said in the sheet? We cannot get the generator. You know? Come on. There we go. That's a hard, a hard one to hit. We got it. Oh, he's just amazing. That was first try. We can get the one behind the bars. Because this one was thought to be impossible for a while. And then it was proven to be possible. Okay, yeah. Uh, we may have to come back for this. I don't know the, the methodology. And I think I needed to keep one of those things in my hand so I could have, like, pushed myself or Sala into it. Maybe we can find a sword we can bring back later on in the level that I'm not thinking of, but... And when we find the generator, well, no, that's the other one that we are not able to get. So we can't get this one. Okay, I don't remember any swords being past this point, so... We'll finish the level, and then we're gonna come back. Well, let's do it like that. I can just walk out of the room. I don't got to be fast with it. Sala, move your big head. I couldn't see, like, any of those. It was like this? Good positioning, Sala. 
It's one of my favorite, like, cutaway gags in Nirvana, the band of the show, is when they're uh, talking about why they're so tired on the day of the Christmas parade. And Jay is like, I was doing a really good Harrison Ford impression from uh, Last Crusade, and it was just him going, there. My memory is that I was doing a really good Harrison Ford impression from The Last Crusade. There. I did the impression. I was doing the Nazi guy. Ah. Maybe maybe one of my favorite shows of all time now. We gotta go back in. Dude, 55.6%. And we haven't even bought our characters yet. So let's figure this out. We're missing one mini kit here. Five hours later. We're gonna come back to this in the next stream. But uh, yeah, we got a lot done. So we got a whole movie besides one mini kit. Probably the hardest movie there will ever be to do this for. So I'm, I'm very happy that we're all done with that. Shanghai was a very confusing level, one that I had to re-enter three times. I wasn't too sure on how to get one of the mini kits, so I collected what I could out of the easy ones and put that one on the back burner. For now, it was on to Pankot, the easiest level of all time. Please be easier. Please. Ah, uh, yes. Venice. Look at that. Already one-tenth of the way through. And look at how respectful Indy is sitting. I mean, it's it's beautiful. You can get every kit in this level. I don't know about the parcel. This is like right where I am right now is where the level stops and all bananas. You pick up those bananas and you leave immediately. So I haven't gone past here in, in quite some time. Look how easy that was. I like how Willy is terrified of tiny red spiders, but a giant brown arachnid that's like the size of her. She just, you got no fear. Ah, scary. One last kit. What? What? That's this is the worst level of all time. This is the worst level of all time. What? There's just a okay. There's just a mini kit that's just sitting in a box, and there's also one that's in a plant, and it makes no sense. All right. Uh, my favorite level of this movie. Oh, we get foggy hats finally. Well, there goes the foggy hat. You can't alt, alt tab this one, can we? Oh, you can alt tab that one. Cool. I think you clip from here. Yeah. Whoa, that was a really quick. Tra Is that note about? That was a really quick transition. I don't even jump at all. How do you get out of bounds in this room? There is an out of bounds. I've been out of bounds before. It's right here. Oh, no, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh. He's done it. He's done it. The most pristine gameplay you've ever seen. And that's every mini kit, I think, actually. Hold on. Is that every is that every single kit? That's every mini kit. We are we are we are done. We finished. It's over. Let's find out. We can get nine kits here, by the way. What is the missing kit that we can't get? Um Thuggy in the second to last room. Okay. I can't jump off this. Oh, there we go. Oh, what the hell? Oh, please. No. Oh, we didn't even need an alt tab for that. It just worked. Come on. Wow, they, they did not test this game at all, did they? Get get in there. Get in there, child. Go go in. And boom, that's every mini kit in this level collected. Uh, parcel, I don't believe is possible, so we can skip out on that. Let's punch this guy. Woo, level complete. We actually got another one all the way done. Uh, we can get nine mini kits here. What is the impossible kit in this one? It's the Thuggy statue. Everything else should be doable inside the minecart section. This should be a pretty quick, fast, and, and you know, stress-free level. That was easy enough. So I have to grab what five more kits. Oh, come on. There's one. Got that one at least. All right, we can leave. No, uh, we got it. Oh, we hit it. Cool. Let's go buy some characters. Let's do our final level. And we got to go back to Shanghai. And we got to go back to 3-6 still. What's our percentage sitting at? 77%. I think I'm right with the with the 80 prediction. Maybe even in the 90s though, because we have this whole level left still. And some stuff we're missing. 2-6. This is the only one we can't get. I have to come back with shovel, I think. Short round, grab, shovel. Shovel, good. That's four. 
Wait, is that possible? That is a long alt-tab jump if it is. Come on. I've had enough alt-tabbing for today. I cannot take much more. My hand can, like, I can physically not take much more of this, to be honest. I'm about to lose it. Okay, we're leaving. We're not, I'm coming back for this one, too. I can't. My hand is cramping up. I've been on this part for so long. There we go. There's a kid over here in this, this like, smiley face grass area. There we go. Where, where did this, where did... No sword? Or just, uh, no sword. Dude, what is going on in this fight? Okay, we're done with the level. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We are on to the final stream, the cleanup stream. After going back through Temple of Doom, grabbing the kits and parcels I missed in Shanghai and battle on the bridge, I found a new transition clip that allowed me to get this kit in Temple of Grail. The other method was either a difficult double alt tab or a super jump, so I'm lucky I had this clip. This means that we only have a couple more things to do. Enter in our cheat codes for the remaining extras which add to your percentage, and then mini kit duplication. This is a very specific piece of tech that allows you to get over 10 mini kits per stage. Whenever you have something like the snowman in 1-2, if you build them in a different order and finish on a different snowman, you get another kit. This is likely due to the spawn location of the mini kit being different, but who am I to question the tech that allowed us to get 10 out of 10 kits in Into the Mountains, Free the Slaves, and Desert Ambush. We were now on the cusp of the 90th percentile, and we still had one final level left to do. One that we could only unlock through mini kit duplication. Young Indy. Total percentage I'm gonna say is like 89 to like 91. 89.8, we can totally push this point two more, please. Oh, we're gonna get a lot. We're gonna get two characters here and um, a completion of the level. Now just humor me here. Wow, I, I made that jump as a single jump character with no issue, no lineup, nothing. And I still miss that sometimes in, in GABL. Is this doable? Wow, I'm, I'm kind of uh, clutching up right now. I'm not going to lie. We can't do the out-of-bounds, I don't think, still. Did we unlock Warehouse? There's no way we got Warehouse unlocked, too. I'd be very surprised if we had Warehouse. But that's Young Indy and Boy Scout, meaning we're only missing Han Solo. Yeah, so no Warehouse. Uh, we are at 92.4. 92.4. Uh, final total is 92.4%. With every character but Han Solo bought, every parcel gotten, 11 legitimately, 7 were done by using cheat codes. Uh, mini kits, you can get 53 of 60 in Raiders, you can get 54 in Temple, and you can get 57 in Crusade. So, there you have it. Using everything available to us, you can get as high as 92.4% without ever touching that free play button. Without duping, we would be stuck at 88, and without both cheat codes and duping, we'd be down to 83.2. If you enjoyed the video, check out the LEGO speedrunning marathon taking place on July 14th, 15th, and 16th. I'll be running in the event myself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you sometimes within the next year, I think.